Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today we're going to put on this entire face of the oldest makeup I have. I'm also talking to you all the way through here about my granddaughter, Titanic, um, <laughs> audiobooks, which I just started this one here from uh, Chirp Books, and I will continue to talk about that because they're sponsoring this video. Oops, hold on. They're sponsoring a 45 second clip <laughs> that I went the whole video and talked about because I was gonna talk to you about the subject. Anyway, they paid for something I would have told you for free. But guess what? That means you don't have to watch any ads or not ones I put here anyway. I'm surprised I don't have this imprinted in my face because that's how I woke up this morning. <laughs> you know what's good about listening to this when you go to bed is because that ear ringing, uh, uh, drives you insane. You don't hear it as much if you have some earbuds in listening to something. And what was I listening to? Audiobooks. And I just finished one up. What an opportunity to lead into, guess what guys? We have a sponsor. No, really, we do this time. I'm not lying. <laughs> Sometimes I say people are sponsoring me as a joke, but they really are. While I fix this stupid patch, let me just do the sponsorship thing right here. Chirp Books is an audiobook platform that is really easy to navigate without a bunch of hoops to jump through. You got everything you need and nothing you don't. They have hundreds of audiobook deals to choose from that are up to 95% off for a limited time period. But the thing that got my attention in the first place was the no subscription or monthly commitment fees. This service is especially nice for people like me who are entering the world of audiobooks because of the no membership fee and the years to keep forever. These are all the books that I have read in like, I think the last three weeks. I acquired these through deals. So what are deals? <laughs> you can browse through, you know, different things up here, even by price, but if you go to deals, that's where you're gonna find up to 95% off books. It's like this one here. I just finished this book and it's now $21.99 and it normally sells for $24.98, but I got it for $3.99. This book I bought last night. It's normally $26.98, but I got it for $4.99. And I can't wait to start this book because I think it's gonna be really good. Let's look at my wish list here before we leave. So I've got these books here that I'm waiting on to become deals and then I'll get them. <laughs> As you can see, these are all marked down, but like these two were also down here. And now look. So move to cart, and then when you're not looking, I'll come back with my credit card. If you want to join the fun, then just look in the description box below because I've got a coupon code supplied to me for you guys from Chirp Books. And thank you, Chirp, for sponsoring this part of our video. So now I have a new habit. It's called audiobooks. See, there it is right there because that's like the thing I hit the most, right? So you just hit chirp. Um, for 20 years, I've been like on a computer from the time I got up to the time I go to bed and I just can't. But before that, let's, let's get busy, one, two. But before that, I was a really avid reader. That's what I did. I read books from sun up to sundown. I loved to read. This would be the oldest primer that I have in my collection. It is Becca's First Light. I've had it for a few years now. <laughs> I think I can take these off now. What do you think? I always liked the way this smelled, the way it felt on my skin, kind of wake you up a little bit, give your skin some luminosity. And I think that Becca was kind of ahead of its time in a lot of areas. Backlight Primer was like the first, I think, luminous primer. And then this, Mm -hmm. But I think after September, you're not going to be able to ever get this again. I really liked Becca primers. I just have so many dang primers that, you know, you just don't get back around to it that often. The oldest foundations that I have, because I either put them in a box and say, get out of here, I hate you, or <laughs> whatever. It's these. This one here, no, I didn't like this at all. But I did find if I mix the two together, it was pretty okay. So that's what we're gonna do. I've got a lot of foundation. I should probably retire these. I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of it in there. We'll mix it up and we'll just use what we need. Anyway, Chirp Books is really gonna get <laughs> a lot for their money here <laughs> because I'm only supposed to be talking to you about this for 45 seconds. Are you kidding me? They don't know me, do they? What can I tell you? 
that won't take me 45 minutes, let alone 45 seconds. <laughs> But seriously, though, I, I did used to be an avid reader of books. It was my favorite thing to do. While Shy Guy would be watching TV, I'm reading a book. And he used to kind of get upset about it because he'd like want to watch the TV show with me. And I'm like, I'd rather read a book. I'd rather take an adventure in my mind. Because I always loved that, I never really gave audiobooks a chance, thought I wouldn't like them because I can't understand it if you read it to me. I found that when I do certain tasks, and let me tell you what a clean house I have now. <laughs> When I do certain tasks, I absolutely will listen to the book and understand it. <laughs> Taking walks, uh, you know, laying in bed at night, trying to go to sleep. I love this book. I'm going to look up more stuff from her because I really love this book. It's called The Loyal Wife. Right there is the Z's. See that? And you can like tap it and then set it. Five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, whatever. Okay. So that it will go off. And that's what happened last night is I was listening to a book and it went off. <laughs> and then I rolled around in my sleep, I guess, and got this earbud stuck to my face. <laughs> my daughter that lives in Virginia, she's super into books. And my son, he's super into books. And to be fair, he actually told me about audiobooks first. And I'm like, no, I don't want people to read to me. No, I don't like that, you know. <laughs> Eating my words again. This is my oldest powder, my YSL. It's almost gone. I can't believe I'm going to pull this out and use this because um, I usually try to save that for really special occasions. It kind of had a pink cast to it. Well, it still does, but I mean, <laughs> they don't make it anymore. Normally, like I said, I would get a wet sponge and press this into my face to make a seamless, poreless look, but I don't want to use that much of this. <laughs> so we're just going to use this brush and dust it on. So I use the least amount I can get by with. My daughter married a man who loves to read. And so they like have to declutter books like I declutter makeup. <laughs> a serious the amount of books they have. Recently, she also has converted over and reads. Now she doesn't do it all the time because my daughter loves to sit down, curl up with a book. And I can't argue it with her because I know what she means. There's nothing quite like the smell of a book. Do you remember um, in Sex and the City, the first movie? This doesn't look so good. This concealer is not that old, but it's my oldest one because I went through and decluttered old concealers. I do that with foundations and concealers. It smells okay. Let's kind of move it around in there. I think it's probably fine. And I'm going to use this on my lids as a primer. It's always worked out okay for me. And uh, I see people who I consider to be artists who aren't actual makeup artists like Raw Beauty Christy. And she always uses a concealer. Or pretty much always. I haven't seen her in a little bit. Been busy. <laughs> Listening to audiobooks. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to hide that the next thing actually does scare me. This needs to be thrown away. I haven't used it in a long time. Chanel Universal, the original. So this is old. I don't even know. I could like open this up and it's just going to vaporize right here on screen. Still faintly smell that Chanel smell, but let's see. Oh, this is kind of hard. I don't know if we're going to get anything off this or not. This could totally ruin the entire look right here. Because I always did have trouble getting out of control with this anyway. I'll probably break out from using this now. <laughs> So back to what I was saying. Remember when Big and Carrie are like laying in the bed and she curls all up next to him. She's got a book. She takes his reading glasses and he's like, are you, I don't know exactly what the quote is, but he's like, are you the last woman in New York still checking out library books or something? And she says she just loves the smell. Okay. So a true book lover knows what that is. My daughter, that was the reason that she was, you know, not converting and, and doing audio books. But even she's doing this now because she can get so much more done. She's a mom of two. <laughs> she works. She doesn't have time. So, you know, she's listening to it in the car. She's listening to it, you know, 
you know, if you do audiobooks, you know what I'm talking about. That's what I've been doing. When I go on my walks, I've been listening to books. When I'm cleaning the house, I'm listening to the book. When I lay down at night to go to sleep, I'm listening to the book. You know, so it's like I've gone through all these books this fast. All right, I'm going to stop there because you can get out of control with this super easy, but I am going to tell you, I'm not going to ever use this again. I don't even want to know how long I've had this. Eight years or more? I'm going to contour my nose with this Kevin Aquan. Uh, in medium and this was my OG but look at it I still never hit pan on it it takes very very little you know <laughs> whoa no 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 this is where I would take a a powder and go over that but I'm not getting back in that YSL powder when it comes to blush I don't know if it's this palette by Lorac or these are my Hourglass Mood Exposure. I would say that this is my favorite blush of all time because I've been through this blush at least two times. And then also I like to pair it with the Luminous Flush. So I'll put this down as a base and then kind of lightly go over it with this and it's just so gorgeous. But I don't know time reference if this was older than those. I come in like that, see? And that's pretty. I like that. All right, let's do that. Let's put these on and then I'll top it with maybe luminous light. A little bit of the luminous light and just pop that right here too. Just a tiny bit. Seriously though guys, this is my OG favorite blush and definitely if you had to repurchase makeup This would be one I did for sure. I'm trying to get the remaining powder out of this brush And put that on my face because I'm a little rosy my highlighter definitely goes back at least eight years I'm gonna say maybe nine Okay, because I bought this because of Jacqueline Hill. It's Soft and Gentle by MAC, and it's still, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful highlighters. It's so natural, it's soft and gentle. I'm gonna run this fan brush through here and just pop that right there on my cheek. Not that I needed it because the Hourglass Luminous Light Blush gave me a little shine there, but Oh, this is so good. Why do I still not use this every single day? Depending on who you talk to, this is or is not a setting spray. MAC Fix Plus. I never found that this stuff did what everybody else said it did. This, for me, it never knocked the powderiness. I mean, you see all these YouTubers and they're like, knock that powder down with it. And all it ever did was make it shiny to me. This for me gets used to wet down eyeshadow. We'll keep it right here just in case I have to do that with my eyeshadow palette, which is also not the very oldest I have, but I already did a video where I used this. This is my oldest eyeshadow palette, the Too Faced 15 anniversary I Love You Sephora. But I already did a video using this and I'll try and find it and link it. Instead, we're gonna go for my Lorac Unzipped. I think this is the oldest palette that I still own. And the reason I still have this is because it was a gift to me. <laughs> so we're not gonna let go of it. I don't care how old it gets. Sometimes I peek in on my grandkids in their room on the camera, right? To tell them goodbye or listen to their mommy read them a bedtime story or whatever. And uh, my granddaughter, <laughs> she's so cute. All right, everybody thinks their grandkids are the cutest, right? I cannot believe how fast these kids grow up. They grow up so much faster than, than your kids. And my mom said, well, just wait till you're a great-grandmother. I can't imagine how you could grow faster than my grandkids. But anyway, her mom is quite the Titanic buff. She just always has loved stuff about the Titanic. And so she collects that stuff. She has seen the movie Titanic so much that at any given time, I could text her with a line from Titanic and she will text me back the next line. And I know she's not looking it up, okay? She just, she's watched it that many times. My daughter was explaining to my granddaughter, yeah, we have all these 
um, Titanic things mommy collects and stuff. But, you know, this was really a, a horrible thing. It's been years ago. But they had the Titanic Museum down at our museum, the Eidelzor uh, Museum. They had it downtown. And I took my daughter there, you know, as a mommy day out. And we went there. And I'll tell you what. You know, in the movie Titanic, when the guy, I forget his name. For all the times that I have seen this movie, I forget this character's name. But the guy that's leading the exploration thing, him, and he's saying, you know, all these years I've done this with Titanic, but I never let it in. I think it's really easy to forget that this was an actual real tragedy, you know. But if you ever have the opportunity, if they ever bring that museum to your town, you should go to it. And I kind of had mixed feelings when we went through it. I mean, I was happy I was there taking my daughter through it just so she could see it. And I'd already been with some other people in the family before that. But it's like you go in there and they give you a ticket and you're like one of the real people who was on the Titanic. And at the end of the tour thing, you find out what your um, your fate was. And you may judge me or others for going and doing that and thinking, well, you know, you are sensationalizing this horrible thing that happened to these real people. This real horrible event happened right and but i'll tell you what i swear to you when you leave you will have a different opinion about it because there's this one part of the whole thing when you get toward the end of it you know you're going through there you're seeing like this is what a typical third class menu was this is what the you know whatever so you're going through this whole thing if you are like a collector of titanic things and you just you know you're just like collecting this stuff you're not really thinking about the fact that it was a a real tragic event <laughs> like i don't know a titanic bath stopper you know that sinks to the bottom of the all right anyway so like that it's really going to hit home with you when you get to the actual iceberg in the museum that iceberg of course it's a chunk of ice and it is so cold oh my goodness these are still gorgeous look at that blinding oh my gosh i just totally took away from what i was trying to say so you're touching this iceberg right and keep your don't just touch it and bring your hand off leave your hand on it because the people in the water they couldn't get their bodies out of it. They couldn't go, oh, this is so uncomfortable, man, that burns. And then they jump back where? Now we're going to take my oldest eyeliner. And I can't even tell you how many of these I bought. <laughs> this is Feline by MAC. I will have to come back in here later and add some more. But it's so creamy. Even now, this is old. This is really old. And it's just going in like a dream. But a point I'm trying to make here is that you're going to go, oh my gosh, because it's so cold, it burns. That's when it really hits you, is when you touch that iceberg and imagine that that is hitting your entire body and you can't get away from it. A Maybelline's Lash Sensational is the oldest mascara I have here open in my possession. The actual oldest mascara that I've ever used is also by Maybelline, and that was the Great Lash, but I don't have that. But this is my oldest open mascara probably should be getting rid of this because I'm sure it's more than three months old. <laughs> so the reason that I'm telling you all that is because my daughter, ever since she was a teenager, has been in love with and collected probably her favorite movie, even though it's been sensationalized, is Titanic. She was expressing to my granddaughter about, yes, mommy has all this stuff and isn't it cool, but, you know, this was a real thing, honey, and, you know, telling her about it. And it just, it choked me up. We somehow got to this whole thing on Titanic from discussing audiobooks. How? I took the Q-tip and got the mascara off my nose, but now I lifted my makeup and I've already put, got it on, powdered, so I don't want to come back over it or it's going to look, eh, yeah, so we're going to use a powder, which is really actually cool because <laughs> I forgot about powder foundations. That would make this actually the oldest foundation that I have. And this is my third one of these is the MAC um, Studio Fix. And I don't keep my powder foundations with the rest of my foundation, so I forget sometimes that this actually is a foundation. So I actually did use my oldest. And you might think that my oldest brow product is this e.l.f. pencil. That's not my oldest. I just wanna use a spoolie because my oldest thing, it's this Wet n Wild box. And in it comes 
a little tool to use the wax. Why not? <laughs> Let's use the wax. Because <laughs> it'll help the brow product, which I don't think it's going to need any help, but it will help it to my brows to stay put a little bit and grab onto the powder. Anyway, my granddaughter's telling me about all this stuff the other day. And the reason that this whole conversation is so cool, she just made the connection that Momo is her mommy's mom. <laughs> I know, right? This shade right here, as you can see, I hit pan on that some time ago. That's because I constantly just do this into that. I love it. I don't use the dark shade, but you could. Uh, you could use it on the tail and use this at the front. But anyway, I'm going to turn this upside down and just come. I think that brow uh, product by Grande Brow is actually growing me some more hairs here in the front. Anyway, so we're FaceTiming and I don't know what brought it up. I cannot remember why she asked this, but she asked my daughter if she had a mommy. <laughs> and, and we're talking to me on the phone. And I just thought that was so cute. And she said, yes, honey, your mama is my mommy. And you could just see the wheels turning in her head. Like, what? Mind blown. Her little mind was blown. That mama <laughs> is her mommy's mom. I love that. Oh, okay. I'm thinking that's a little bit dark. We can control that. I, I kind of like brow powder. I might go on a kick now where I'm using nothing but brow powder. Because <laughs> like that's just too easy. I remember when I was first thinking about starting my channel, I thought, no, because I don't want to ever do a get ready with me. <laughs> I don't want to ever have to do that. I just wanted to talk about products. <laughs> And before you know it, you're doing a get ready with me. Okay, guys, this is my oldest lipstick. I would love to know what Lancome is doing. You know, I know this lipstick is more than 12 years old. It still smells like a Lancome lipstick. This lipstick is not even made anymore. It's called Cepia Chick. This is what color it is. It's got a little sheen to it. Okay, that's full on. It's got like a metallic-y... I mean, there's definitely an expiration. Here's a kiss for you. <laughs> I mean, definitely there's expiration dates on this stuff. It should be, you know, 20 years later, we're still using the same lipstick, the very same one, not that same shade or whatever, but the very same lipstick is 20 years old. Uh, but there you go. I'm going to do my hair, look in the mirror, see if there's anything I need to touch up because I can't actually really see what I'm doing. And then I will be back. you to know you're the best part of the Rizzy family and if you're not having a blessed day you can get one just go be a blessing to somebody else and until next time love you see ya bye and I'm out uh, <laughs> like slimy snails slimy snails get on your eyes make them look really good slimy s yep I did I had to I felt it so today we have a sponsor. <laughs> Can you believe that? Can you believe that? They're like, who lets a sponsor this mess? <laughs> yep, it's right there because. <laughs> I ran my nail in my nose. Oh, gosh, that hurt. Oh, this is how I was born with my nose like that. <laughs> really was. Ask my mom and dad. I love to read. read I can't go. <laughs> Ignore me. Those. This is the California California Love or something like that. California. That's Tupac.
Monday, Monday. It's really Friday. I don't know what it is about California that makes me think of the mamas and the papas, but that's what I, what are you doing? I wonder what they're doing over there. Do you ever wish you spoke dog? So you'd be like, Roof, roof! 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 Roof, roof! Oh, roof. Sometimes I wish I spoke dog. <laughs> or bird. <laughs> yes, we can find out. Are they talking about us? What are they saying? Are they like, these people got a good feeder over here. Come over here. This has got real good sugar to water ratio at this house.